All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahusha, Ba'ashem Rakar Kodas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to um, title this Epaphroditus. Okay? It's an example of why mercy is important in this faith. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to get this scripture, okay, to show who Epaphroditus is. Okay? And it's uh, Philippians 2 and 25. It says, Yet I supposed it necessary to send, on to send to you Epaphroditus, <clears throat> which that name means lovely. Okay, it says, My brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger, and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all and was full of heaviness because that you heard that he had been sick. Okay, and, um, it's a situation right now where a brother or brothers are going through a uh, certain sickness, but a specific brother right now, you know, is, um, you know, he comes to mind, you know, of, um, you know, basically going through, um, be, uh, being sick right now. Okay. So, um, continuing on, um, It says, for indeed he was sick now unto death. But Yahweh by Shemyal Shai had mercy on him. Okay? The word mercy, okay, is compassion or forgiveness sown towards someone whom it is within one, one's power to punish or harm. Okay? Clemency, uh, lenience. Okay. Um, grace. Okay, pity. The feeling of sorrow and compassion caused by the suffering and mis misfortune of others. Okay. Um, once again, forgiveness. Okay. So... Epaphroditus, okay, um, was a, a, a man of the Lord, okay, and if we're talking about, you know, um, reincarnation, then, you know, he may be here again today, you know, going through the same type of uh, sickness, you know, or, or something, okay, it says, um, and not only on him, I mean, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow, you know. And the the one of the last things that we want, you know, in this truth, okay, even though we all suffering, you know, is um for for someone to to you know basically. By them putting their life on the line for you, how about some y'all side? Okay, and uh, giving their all, you know, to the Lord. Okay, and it says that he was sick now unto death, man. Okay, so you see a a a a, a person that was damn near near death. Okay, and he's still doing. What it takes for Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. You know? That that right there should should inspire, you know, you people who, who don't have to go through uh sicknesses. You know? See, when when certain brothers hear about or a person um is going through a sickness or or um some type of judgment is being uh put down on 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 a certain brother 
they automatically think, you know, that um, that person that that has that um, that sickness, okay, that they're automatically uh, someone that's wicked or you know that they're doing something just totally um, off, okay, which we do come back, you know, <clears throat> and and have to face. Um, the sins of our past lives, you know, the you know the judgment that we do get in this life is you know sometimes be based off of the, the things that you did in the past, you know. But it says, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow, I sent him therefore the more carefully that when you should. When you see him again, you may rejoice in that I may be the less sorrowful. Rejoice him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness and hold such in reputation. Okay, so you may see a person that's just going through hell, man. Okay, sickness or um, whatever the case may be in the world. You're supposed to hold that, those type of people in a specific type of reputation, man. Okay. Because that's that's a, a powerful spirit that that person has on them to be able to go through you know hard times and it's this truth and and still keep your how about some uh you know first okay we're supposed to be be happy with those those type of people man and that that spirit should be an um like I said, it should be inspirational. Okay? And and also, you know, having a mindset of, you know, merciful. You know, because you may you may be in a camp and you may have a brother who may not know how to read, right? And and let's say the brother may be a little slow. See in the world, they'll they'll say that this person has ADHD or that the person is retarded which retarded means slow okay that this person um has mental disabilities but in the truth guess what that person is is perfectly fine man okay see see in the world people especially here in Baltimore people be you know getting on um you know slow kids you know saying that they're DEC you know and retarded and all this stuff but the whole time you never know what type of situation that person may have to go through okay and like I said if that's a brother and you may see that they don't know how to read or something like that you, you help that brother out man you know that's a part of, of being merciful if you if you have you know the ability to do so then you need to do it okay and that brother who who may not know how to read or speak or or do something you know to to what you may be able to do okay he he had, he I'm pretty sure that brother will have strengths in other areas that you necessarily don't Okay, he may be one of the most humble brothers, man. Okay? May yeah, he may be a man of the Lord. Well he is. You know, you got that's how you gotta look at it. Okay? And not oh uh, this you know, this guy he, he got a sickness and you know he, he about to pass away, you know, he's gonna die and all that stuff. You know? That's that's the type of sick minds that certain people be having man okay it says because for the for the work of Yahweh Shah he was now unto death not regarding his life to supply your lack of service toward me <coughs> okay so the, these people who, who go through things okay and they're putting their life on the line for Yahweh Yahweh you know that it's all for edification and, and and you know giving people proper discernment, man. Okay, and knowing what what mercy 
really is because guess what you could have been in that same situation too you know or you could still end up being in that same situation because hey the y'all help us from y'all sides cool okay Jude 1 and 20 but beloved but ye beloved building up yourselves on on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost keep yourselves in the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai unto eternal life okay and that's one thing that every day I always pray for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to have mercy on me okay and that I always you know am able to show that same mercy onto someone else that's that's part of the um the Lord's prayer man okay where, where it says um, uh, forgive our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us you know it says uh, and some have compassion making a difference I mean and of some have compassion making a difference and of and others save with fear okay so it's a difference when when you have to be uh, compassionate to a brother okay and when you have to be uh, straight up you know on, on uh, put trying to put a put fear into a brother okay that's that balance is is important it says pulling them out the fire okay it says hating even the garment spotted by the flesh now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever and ever amen okay or, or amoth okay now when Yahweh saw returns okay he's gonna he's gonna be a merciful ruler over the, the whole world man okay Isaiah 11 and 2 and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh Shemiah Sa. it says and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Okay? It says, But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and reprove the equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall, I'm going to look at this word equity up. Ma, Maya Sawar. Okay, level place uprightness, level country, level place uprightness. Okay. It says, and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips, so he slay the wicked. So when Yahweh returns, okay. And he is ruling over this 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 planet, okay. If the Lord <laughs> Yahweh Shah himself had mercy on on others, man, and and that's the author and the finisher of our faith, okay. And we want to be more like him, yeah. Yahweh Shah, he got on a lot of demons, especially those that wasn't in the in the right doctrine, you know. But when it comes down to to a brother, that's that's you know pushing and doing his work. You know, that's that that mercy is is important, man. You know. So with that, I want to say salawam.